Yo guys, what's up? This is Cyfax here. This is a video showing you all the most powerful, in my opinion, the best character in Mass Effect 3. And yes, it is indeed the DLC Geth Infiltrator. I'm rocking the Geth Plasma Shotgun with him, and you can get away with Javelin. It does a lot of damage, but I'll get into that later. Uh, for this game, we're playing against the Reapers. This is Wave 3 right now. And before I figured out this character, I always thought the Reapers were the hardest because of the Banshees just with their one-hit kills. And uh, the Brutes and the Ravagers are swarming you. But now, I think this will be the easiest simply because they don't shoot back and because the shotgun... I mean, you can hold the line with this gun so easily. I just saved that guy's life. He had no idea the Banshee was there. And then, I mean, the Banshee couldn't move once I started shooting. The damage that I put out with this character is absurd compared to all the, all the other characters. Now, there are a lot of good characters in this game, but this one is just head and shoulders above the rest. Um, I don't have any points on proximity mine, and I have everything maxed out for damage. I'll show the, uh, the power screen in about a minute. And as you can see, I have 50 kills. Even with this poor aim, <laughs> I have 50 kills in... Uh, at the end of wave 3. Actually, it's not even the end. That is pretty damn good, if you ask me. And here's another Banshee, just showing the damage. It's a bar to two bars every single time. Uh, I was using a shotgun rail amp 3, incinerator rounds, and I think extra shields. This is a nice little quad feed I got at the end of wave 4, I believe. And then uh, my boy Cobra is getting shit on by this Ravager at the bottom of the stairs. Watch what I do. Boom! It's like six bars of armor, one shot. But yeah, uh, here you go. Here's the end of the game. Got 170,000 XP that game. That is a lot of XP. And uh, there's a little taste of my Krogan Battlemaster. He's looking like a beast. So uh, here we are with the points. Like I said, no points up. Haven't gotten there yet. Come on now. I named him Javelin because at first. Um, I was only sniping with the character, and the amount of damage you can put out with the javelin if you get a headshot, I think it's the most in the game. At the end of the video, I'll show you that uh, I'll show a two shot on a Geth Prime on gold difficulty. You have to get a headshot though for the uh, for the javelin to do as much damage as it does. But there you go, all damage for tactical cloak, and. You can use snipe or you can use a shotgun. Don't use both because then your recharge time will be insanely slow. No points on proximity mine because I want to max out everything. Uh, for hunter mode, as you can see, got the recharge speed on instead of accuracy. Accuracy isn't a problem. And then I could rate of fire or power damage is fine. I think power damage might affect the tactical cloak damage as well. But uh, don't quote me on that. I don't have any proof. And then I have damage for the last one. Speed and vision is alright, but I like as much power as possible. And then for, wep for uh, networked AI, put all your points on weapon damage. Um, just because you want as much power from your Geth Plasma Shotgun or your Javelin as possible. And what makes this character so unique is the Geth damage. It makes his, the Geth weapons 10% more powerful. It's just it's ridiculous. And then I have all my points on defense. You could get away with uh, melee damage, but I'd rather have shields on gold. And then here you go. Here is the two shot on the Geth Prime. There's one. Get my camo back. And see you later. So yeah, if you guys want to see some other videos with some other characters, there's plenty of good ones out there, but this one is definitely the best. Leave a like or a comment. Peace.